Come spend a week with the team behind the world's largest platform for people-powered research. Zooniverse is a place where everyday people like me can help researchers make incredible discoveries. Even though doing Zooniverse projects has been a hobby of mine for years, I'm now an official team member. In August, I attended my first ever Zooniverse team meeting, an annual conference for Zuni team members from Oxford, the Twin Cities, and Chicago to get together and party. Actually, there are a lot of great presentations, discussions, goal setting, and team building exercises, and partying is like an extra bonus situation. This year's conference was hosted by the Adler Zooniverse team here in Chicagoland. I'm headed into day one of the ZTM conference. We had our little kickoff dinner last night, but there were still several people that I didn't get to meet, and let's see what we get up to. Okay, so while I was filming this, I didn't realize I had actually passed the building where we were meeting, and I ended up getting lost in a mini urban garden. Ten minutes later, I found where I was supposed to be. Day one's agenda was packed full of presentations and group breakout sessions, but first, we had to build a paper tower for a can of soup. Wow, okay. We're yeah. writing a fake equation on the wall. Astronomers love equations, so we think this will distract them. Next one. Show. Oh, oh, then it came time for my super smart teammates to present their newest developments and improvements to the group. Web development is not my expertise, but thoughtful discussions are. I was pleasantly surprised by how much heart goes into even the technical planning of a citizen science platform. Day one ended with dinner and games in downtown Evanston. I taught my coworker Michelle how to play Yahtzee. Honestly, this was probably my greatest contribution to the week. Day two brought even more meaningful discussions about how to make Zooniverse offerings more equitable and accessible. Everyone, from volunteers to scientists to back-end developers were all acknowledged and accounted for in these deep discussions about how to make each person's experiences better. I just sat back and watched my team take care of literally everyone who has ever touched a Zooniverse project. Okay, day two has been really interesting. A lot of talk about the people aspect. Who is using Zooniverse? Who are we designing for? How do we reach them? How do we reach them better? I'm learning a lot on my end, and I know there's a few other people here. This is also their first CTM, and they're learning a lot as well, so it's been pretty cool. I'm um, just a lowly uh, project scientist. Now I get to learn all the intricate details of what's going on under the hood, so. We are talking about how to track uh, user skill. Using the user skill for actually making a um, decision. My first ZTM is really, really cool getting a chance to meet everybody that I see online, see them in the physical form. We've been talking about uh, trying to reach out to communities that we aren't. And then we've been talking about how to let the communities talk to each other. How do we bring the community's comments together with the people who professionally research? It doesn't really matter where they come from, but they all add value. and being able to write the software that, that helps us do that. I've always known that Zooniverse has reached millions of people around the world, but I got to see the impact it had even on its own team members. I mean, just listen to Haley tell her story while basking in the beautiful glow of the sunset. In high school, I took an astronomy class my senior year. One of the projects we wanted to do was learn how to classify galaxies using Galaxy Zoo. What, like, I think one of the first iterations uh, that existed, like long before Zooniverse existed. So that was my introduction and it made it more fun for making at my first postdoc was to be able to like come full circle and end up a decade later back doing Galaxy Zoo. Day three was a best of Adler day. We visited the newest exhibits, looked through the Dome telescope, and saw the dark side of the moon show. We wrapped up the week with a final round of breakout sessions and then a group retrospective of our thoughts on the week. Everyone left with new perspectives and ideas for how to move forward, dedicating the next year to expanding Zooniverse's reach and impact. Visit Zooniverse.org today to join millions of volunteers helping researchers make important discoveries. Our team will take good care of you.